Hello. 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 Hello, Hello everyone. Good evening. Oh, welcome to our late night show of our news, uh, Malaysia Week. <laughs> Malaysia <laughs> late night show. Yes. But this time is about property. Yeah? Let me okay. introduce yeah. first. I'm Joe Liu. Okay. So on oh. my uh, sorry, right hand side is actually Hello. Terrence. Nice and to meet you guys. Naomi. Is a Kevin. Hello. Hey, hi. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. So today we have a very quick show. We have a topic talk about uh, HOC. So I think it's actually benefit to whoever want to buy. Uh, it's a first home buyer, or maybe you have two or three units you want to buy. It's actually you have save a lot of money. You can see our thumbnail that which you can save up to about twenty four k. Uh, later i think kevin will share to you so before that i think uh, hopefully anyone can share to the groups your friends who want to know about this okay yes king okay. is anybody yes. more joining us yep is there anybody Let's else see. joining us if i say you're online you can just uh type in and say here, hello Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Let's start. So I pass the stage to Kevin. So I think Kevin will be okay. ready. A lot of record. All right. You hold on a second. Make sure everything's there. Share. Okay. Okay, sorry, hold on a second. Okay, okay. before that, if I say you already uh, follow our page, we actually every three uh, every weeks, right? We actually share a lot of topics since uh last month may we have already shared about four to five topics you can follow our page and soon and later next month we have more uh content to share you all to help you whether you are interested for property investment or maybe you plan to buy house for yourself we have a topics that uh can help you to uh because nowadays uh, for me myself i already buy house also i understand some of the people they need to buy house that but to know where is a uh, uh, so-called uh, procedure or maybe you need to know more about that so we will share more if i say you want to interested to know mm. more that you can comment us you can pm us we can share about the topics also if i say you have any things that uh, against a loan maybe laws okay so kevin side yeah. you're already maybe on the legal side that uh, yes i'm i am okay okay so for legal side, All maybe right. uh, for example, currently MCO, we also can share whether renter have any issue. Okay, come. Okay, I pass the stage to Kevin. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's. My topic today is going to be about the HOC. Hold on a second. All right. So can everyone see my screen? Joe, yes. Terence. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You can see I my can. screen. Huh? Okay. All right. So um, this is today we are going to talk about um, HOC. So uh, the campaign has been running since last year, 2020. So now it has um, uh, extended to 2021. So let's proceed. Okay, HOC requirements. So a lot of people will be wondering uh, what is HOC? Okay, so HOC is actually the acronym for Home Ownership Campaign which is actually initiated by the government as an effort to encourage home ownership and to give a boost to the property market. So it's actually helping the market to, um, I would say helping developers in a way to actually be able to sell their property uh, much better. So next, you'll be wondering who is eligible. So here is only Malaysian citizens are eligible for the discounts. All right, only no, Malaysian no. citizens. We have a guest here. Hello, yep. Matthew. Hi, Matthew. <laughs> <Too> late. <laughs> late it's a late night you. show. Yeah, it's late a late night, night show. show. 
Yes. yes. Running it's on a chill uh, late course. night show. Yes. Yes. Okay. So um, let me move on. So this, like what I mentioned, is only eligible for Malaysians only. Malaysian citizen only. All right. Unfortunately, foreigners, you won't be able to enjoy this discount. So next is when is the bonus, um, the HOC eligibility? So it is already been extended since 31st of May, which actually government said that um, it will expire during that time. But due to the current economic situation with the COVID and everything, so um, government has actually um, extended the, the expiry to 31st December. So for 31st December 2021, so for those who have yet to actually um, get their, I mean, dream, dream home and or, or actually get the property that they are looking for, so you still have time. So do not waste this um, extended, extended time given to you. So which property is actually eligible? So the eligibility falls on the residential properties only, which categorize under landed house, condo, and service apartments completed or under construction, governed by the HDA, which is the Housing Development Act. Also, it should be for residential use only. Kevin, mm. I have a question. Okay. Like, What if yes. uh, something like Soho or some others, you know, so okay. and so on? So for Soho, mm. which is a small office, home office, yes, it still falls under residential, so you'll be able to enjoy the HOC discount. But unfortunately for SOVO and SOFO, it's not qualified. So, yeah, I know, um, yeah, I know SOHO is under a residential, la, still, still can. Residential, la. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. So only SOHO. SOVO, SOFO, not eligible. Okay, that, that is not eligible under the HOC program. So next. How many properties is eligible? So honestly speaking, there is no limit. If let's say you already have your first home, second home, and you are thinking of getting a third one, there is no limit, but depends on loan eligibility. Okay, But property has to be purchased during the campaign period. Also, there are one small detail to take note. Okay, This is one small detail to take note. If you are planning to purchase more than two properties, okay, so the third property onwards must be of 600,000 and above, right? Wow. So I repeat, I repeat that. Um, third property at onwards must be 600,000 and above. Mm. Mm. Okay. Everyone got that? Yes. So next, how much is the property eligibility? Property price... Be, it has to be before discount is within the range of 300,000 to 2.5 million. Right. So, um, is there any further question? 2.5 right. million. 2.5. Yes. Yes. Oh. Maximum up to 2.5. Yes. I think last time so, also don't have discount things, right? <laughs> oh, I don't have, huh? Yeah, 2.5. Yeah. 2.5 is actually quite big. Probably you can get a, a very big bungalow and all that already. Mm. Very luxury condo. Yeah, very luxury condo. Those high-end high -end ones, yes. Especially at KLCC, we do have a lot of projects there. Mm. Okay. So extended until end of this year already, luckily. Yes, okay, end of this year. Are, have to buy now already. Else are yes. wasted. Maybe we think that maybe extended again, but... Nice unit, uh, <laughs> better yes, not to yes. risk. Better not to risk it, uh, Because whatever is past is already past. You cannot, you cannot turn back. Mm. If yes, there's yes. only appreciate opportunity that is available now, and grab the opportunity. Mm. So mm. there's no guarantee of extension since the yes. vaccination is already rolled out very fast and quick. We might not yes. know. You know, it's best yep, to yes. grab it now. True. True. Is there any question? With the, any audiences, is there any question? Yeah, for All audience, right. you can comment here so we can know you. You can say hi. Okay, so today, today our topic is actually about the HOC. Uh, what is the requirement and how the HOC can help you to save more money? Okay, yeah. Okay, Karen, continue. all right, let me continue. So, to be eligible for the HOC, sales and purchase agreement must be stamped 
between 1st June 2020 and 31st sorry, and 31st July, uh, sorry, 31st December 2021. The last date for stamping will be 31st December 2021. So my advice is for those who want, um, I mean, you're unable to decide, probably there are some other new projects coming up, you know, don't wait till the very, very last minute to get your S&P stamped. So perhaps you can actually do it a week earlier and all that. Yeah, take note that it's not booking at uh, December, do not do booking at December, you, you might not make it. So yes. better make it like October, you do a booking and then you can sign SPM between November or December. Yes, yes, yes. Don't don't wait till too late because it will be sometimes, sometimes you don't know unforeseen circumstances. You know, it's kind of risky to actually some, forego the discounts. Some of my clients might think, uh, oh, I make a booking at December and then it's signing SPA. That's the most... Yeah signing, yeah, signing wow. and it has to be stamped. The stamping is most important besides the signing. So the stamping, yeah. All right. So I've been talking about the discounts. I believe some of you all will want to know what are the discounts provided during the HOC uh, campaign. So a minimum of 10% discount from property price is actually applicable to all units that are not subject to government price control. So minimum, I say that minimum 10% discount. So uh, as you all know, a lot of developers sometimes to entice um, clients. So it's not only 10% um, discount or rebate they will provide. It will be more. Uh, sometimes some projects will be more than that. So look out for the projects that uh, suits you, that you are actually interested in. And then um, you can actually contact either one of us to know more of the project itself. Right? So property must be registered must be registered with the Real Estate and Housing Development Association for those in Peninsular Malaysia, which is Reda. And then for the East, which is Sabah Sarawak, will fall under Sharida or Shida. Oh. Yes. Sarawak and Sabah. Yes. Yep. Hi, Hugh. Wow, first time I see Sh Sharida and... And Shida. Shida. This will be, yeah. yeah. Oh. Shida. Shida yeah. or Shida. Shida, These I are... think. Mm. Also means that Sabah Sarawak also eligible. So yes, yes, the whole Malaysia, whole Malaysia, yes, mm. yes. It's a whole Malaysia. I wonder is so, there any Sabah Sarawak uh, viewer here? Friends. If you do, you leave a comment and let us know that you you are yes. from Sabah Say Sarawak. Say hi. I'm I'm very curious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So for the stamp duty exemption, it's applicable to the following. I show you the table itself. Okay, this is how um, the table is. Instru instrument of transfer means that um, the instrument of transfer means the MOT, Memorandum of Transfer. So the stamp duty exemption is actually applicable in this manner. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's applicable in this manner. So most of it is exempted. But you see here, there is a 3%. Yeah. The stamp duty is actually 4% for property um, pricing 1 million to 2.5 million. So it's a 4% stamp duty. Without the HOC, you have to pay 4%. But with HOC, there is an exemption of 3%. So mm. you still have to pay that 1% of it. Yeah. Pay. So, I, hmm? Sorry. Pay that 3%, right? It's just, it's just rebate for 1%, right? I, Above yes. 1 million. Uh. Yes. Yes. Above mm. 1 million. So you are exempted 3%. The remaining 1%, you still have to make the payment, but which is actually quite a good discount. Uh, I mean, good exemption already for property mm. with such high price. Mm. All right. And then the instrument of securing loan, that is your loan stamp duty, is up to 2.25. 2.25 million. So it's also exempted. Mm. Quite a lot of money also. Yeah, yeah, quite a lot of money. Some some viewer might confuse that like 1.5. Let's say I take a property of 1.5 million. The first 1 million is actually exempted uh, for those mm. who are looking at this. First mm. 1 million is exempted. The one who charge tax is whatever is over the 1 million. If the, let's say the property is 1.5, right? Then mm. you will charge the tax based on the 500,000. Yes, yes. I, I, nah. I have a schedule. Uh, I have a table work out on that. So I'll be, I'll be showing you later. Oh, for the audience, mm. I think you follow. Yes. You, you, 
you listen uh, to the end, we have a link. I have some sample for you to show you the example. Okay. All right. So the non-exemption earlier that I, that I mentioned is the 500,000. 500, Let's say uh, 1 million to 2.5 million. So the 1% that is non-exempted is this amount, which is actually not a lot, honestly speaking, that you have to pay. The non-exemption, which that 1% that is not covered under the HOC program, that one percent is not a lot. Not a lot, I pay. Mm. If you're taking, so you're taking a maximum of two point five. Yeah. All right. Okay. Mm. So also here, if let's say your loan amount is maximum to um two point five as well, because this one the stamp duty is exempted to two point two five zero. So if let's say your full loan amount is two point five, so the remaining two hundred fifty thousand of stamp duty for your loan, you have to pay this amount only. Oh. That is what 1,250. Hmm. I see. Yeah. Yeah, the remaining 250,000. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right. So um let's move on. I can imagine if without the HOC, right? Well, wow, that's a lot of stamp duty you need to pay. <laughs> yes. So let's say without the HOC, let's say example, we take a property price of 150,000, your down payment will be 50, 55,000, which is a 10%. Okay. The stamp duty you are paying 2,475 already. This is without the HOC exemption. So also for MOT, which is the memorandum of transfer, you are paying 10,500 is actually quite a lot so you add up upon signing of spa you this is the amount that you have to pay up front which is 67,975 right this is without the hoc discount so if we are looking into a hoc discount okay the same property price which is 550,000 Upfront down payment, you are paying only 10% because the property 550,000, you are getting a 10% discount from there already. So with the 10% discount, you are actually uh, enjoying a 495,000. So the 10% will be 49,500 down payment that you need to pay. Whereas for under the HOC program, loan and the loan and MOT, stamp duty are exempted. So here, you, you are not paying anything here. So at the end of the day, you are only paying the 10% that you are actually putting down, which is 49,500. So if you versus with and without HOC, this is actually the um, savings that you are going to get. A lot of people, this amount of money, I believe you all can actually put in for uh, perhaps a small renovation and all that already, yeah. getting your furnitures and all, yeah. Wow. <coughs> I think so, what amount? 18 k Yeah, 18,000 is quite a lot of money that you are actually saving. All right. Even though for investment also can save 18,000. Yes. Can profit on that. Yeah. 18,000 is like almost like 3%, more than 3% direct, direct return. Mm. Yes, mm. yes. So it's sort of like a direct savings upon purchasing the house, you get a direct savings already. All right. Yeah, so we move on to another example. This is a, a property worth 550,000. So what if the property is 1.5 million? So mm -hmm. without HOC, 1.5 million, you are paying a down payment of 150,000. Okay, directly 10% uh, down payment. Stamp duty will cost you about 6,750. Whereas the MOT, stamp duty for MOT is 44,000, right? 44,000. Uh. Wow. <laughs> okay, it's quite a lot of money there. 44,000. So all in all, upfront, upon signing of your sales and purchase agreement, you are paying up 200,750. Wow. 200,750. Yeah, this is a lot, quite a lot of money. So versus with HOC discount, 
So with a HOC discount, you get a 10% discount up front already, a 10%. So from the 10%, you are only paying a 10% of the, the house price. The house price would be 135000 hmm. Stamp duty for that falls under 1.5 for loan, it's zero. So you're still not paying any. And then for MOT, remember we, we mentioned earlier that uh, between property price between 1 million to 2.5 million, the... Um, stamp duty for MOT is 4%, whereas under the HOC program, it's exempted 3%, um, 3 from there. So you still have to pay that 1% that is non-exemption, which is actually 15,000 hmm. wow. from this property price. So all in all, you are paying 150,000 upfront with HOC discounts. Some, some, de some development might have uh... A slightly, yes, much a much higher rebate, but um, yeah. I'm just taking the minimum of uh ten percent. So yeah. this is that much that you save if you were to purchase a one point five million property with and without HOC. Mm. Same, you save up more than three percent. Yes, Same. yeah. <laughs> HOC course, help. I Help you to I save three percent at least. Yeah, I think save a lot of three percent. Not only that, uh, normally if I say the price more than one million and above, uh, mm -hmm. the developer give a lot, a lot of rebate. Eh. Yes. Someone save more, then he keep quiet. He <laughs> enjoy the HOC. Wow. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I mean, Kevin just try to make it subtle. Just assume that there's no rebate already. Save so much, you see. Mm. Mm. We, we are not yeah. counting cashback and other other package that given out by the developer. We just say, just HOC, this by government already saved up to 3% and above, which is very good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. My house also don't have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the HOC uh, campaign was uh, initiated recently only. Hmm. So for those who have yet to get your dream home, your first home, you know, or probably you're thinking of investing, grab this opportunity to enjoy the uh, HOC discounts, yeah? Hmm. yeah, and the stamp duty exemption. Hmm. Right, so let me proceed. Okay, I have one short case, uh, case study. All oh, right, before, yeah, one we short need our audience. case come. Okay, I hope that the audience can participate as well. So the case study is as such. Let's say, example, Madam Yang purchased a uh, property, 600,000 house for his son, Ryan. The SPA is executed under Ryan's name only, but the housing loan agreement is under two names, which is under Madam Yang and Ryan's name. Mm. So the question is here, Will Madam Yap and Ryan be entitled to the stamp duty exemption on the instrument of transfer, which is MOT, and the instrument of loan agreement, um, the stamp duty for the uh, SPA? Wow, so, one, yeah. Wow. yeah. Sounds like an SPM match, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you mean going back to SPM? Suddenly there's a question like that. <laughs> yeah. Will, this is not SPM la, but this is SPA la. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. So right. is there anyone in the audience be able to answer? Yes, so, yes, yes. Those who claim this. themselves get in, Matt uh, should participate. No, <laughs> this is not a Matt's question. This is not a Matt's question. So um, this is actually whether you understand the stamp duty exemption or not how it Correct. works okay this is just a case study for some of you maybe you might come across this scenario yourself so you if mm -hmm. you might come across yourself so at least how uh, you have some um answers now and then or probably some of y'all are thinking you know um probably your mom want to buy for your son or daughter or either father mm -hmm. want to buy for a son and daughter so um in this way uh, you are able to understand how it works the how the hoc works mm. All right, anyone from the audience? So I repeat the question. It's just like the mom buying a house for his son, right? Correct? Yes. yes. Okay. So, but SPF is under the son name, mm -mm. but the loan is both name. Yes. Okay. So the, the SPF is under the son, but the loan 
is under Miss Madam Yap, the mom and the son, Ryan. So the yep. question here is, will be Madam Yap and Ryan, both of them, entitled to stamp duty exemption, which means they're entitled to be HOC lah, on the uh, insurance. The, uh, as well. uh, so for MOT and the loan agreement stamp duty uh, exemption. Mm. So okay. is there anyone from the audience be able to participate? Or uh, yeah, parents? Ah, uh, yes. You see, I prepare a paper here. I try, I, try <laughs> I cannot, cannot guarantee. Okay, so I, I, I guess they also need some paper and calculator. Bring it out, just to calculate something. Okay, six hundred thousand. Let me calculate. Six hundred k. Ah, see who faster. Ah, uh, me faster or or the audience? Six hundred k. Is there wow. anyone exempted? Okay, so the MOT exempted. So no need. So then, the loan. Loan agreement. Loan, uh, loan is 0 0.5, right? But mm. 0 0.5, I got exempted by 2.25 million, correct or not? Is it true? I saw I saw that mm. the, the loan right. is exempted for two up to 2.25. So this is just mm. 600k. 600k, ma'am. So, so totally no need. Exempted, uh. yeah. So yeah. totally exempted. Uh. So, totally yeah. exempted, uh. yeah lah. So okay. I just have to pay down payment? Uh? Mm, not really correct. Okay. okay. Um, not really accurate your answer, Terrence. Okay. 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 Let me let me uh share. Wait, I think because someone comment. The MOT okay. exempted for sure. Oh Chinket. Uh. Hi Chinket. Thanks for participating. Okay. But the loan stamp duty we're gonna divide it by half. Oh, Whoa, okay. Wow. All right, you disclose. I think someone strike wow. it. I think someone strike it. Oh, CK. Hi, CK. Okay, all on. right, all right, great. So, here, um, under the MOT, because um, Ryan will be eligible for the stamp duty exemption on um, mm. instrument of transfer, which is the MOT. Okay, so 600,000 uh, stamp duty exempted on 600,000. So you doesn't need to pay um MOT uh, stamp duty under MOT. So for the loans, just now CK answered correct. Ryan will be eligible for the stamp duty exemption as his name is on the SPA. On the other hand, Madam Yap will not be eligible for the stamp duty exemption as his name as her oh sorry as her name is not on the SPA. You see. Mm. So the loan uh, amount, which is 540,000, 90% loan, meaning that I assume they put down a 10% uh, down payment, that will be divided equally between son and mother. So on the son's side, the Ryan, because her, his name is under um, is stated under uh, the SPA. So he got full exemption. Whereas for Madam Yap, there's no name. She has no name under the SP, so um, mm. for her, she has to pay uh, that the the stamp duty for the agreement. So can I say that uh, if both sides want to eligible for the loan loan stamp duty, right? So mm. Madam Yap have to put her name into the SP as well. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. 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 Correct. Correct. Well, sometimes you see um. Parents, they do not want, they want to buy, uh, you know, this house as an investment or uh, a gift for the son and then to have the son or the daughter's name only. That. So this is actually uh, one of the case study that um, I would like to share like, to some of you. Hmm, We're looking to invest, yeah. In that case, if let's say, if next time, right, they want to transfer back the the, the whole uh whole ownership back to his son, he still still need to fork up a uh uh what legal fee as well, right? Might as well no need so so troublesome. Just might as well stick to this uh mm. this concept. Yes. No need yes. to actually not not much money here because of the loan the loan agreement is split. actually a little bit only. Yes, yeah. because the loan is split into two into half already. So the non-exemption falls only under Madam Yap, which is 270,000 only. So yeah. it's actually not really a lot. It's not under the whole whole amount itself. Then it's good enough. Uh. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. Right. Okay. So, okay. so um, in summary, 
to be eligible for the HOC program, uh -huh, let me summarize everything. Malaysia, you have to be a Malaysian citizen, all right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then choose the project, whether it's a new project, new launch, constructed, or either completed, which falls under the HOC program, all right? Go to your um, developer, ask them directly whether are they under the HOC program with the, the property mm. that you are looking for. If anything, um, under Popnext, we have quite a lot of our properties as well that is uh, un under this program. So you can always uh, look for us. And project must be under uh, radar, like I mentioned earlier, under the Pen Peninsula will be under radar, under the East Malaysia, which is under Sharida and Shida. Mm. And under the APDL qualified projects. Yep, APDL. Yes, F2. And lastly, F2. lastly, you have to check your loan eligibility. Right? Wait, stop. You have to check your loan eligibility before being disappointed. You, know? you don't want to hit one property that you like and then or oh, you may not get that, that loan that you are looking for. So your loan eligibility, which I really sorry, stress upon. Sorry, what is APDL? Like... What what mm. is APDL? APDL AP. is something like over uh, advertising permit development license. Oh, mm. it's a license. Uh, it's a license that developer can build and they can advertise. So sometimes you can find uh flyers at the below part. They will mention if I say for KL is a DBKL. Lo. For Slango, it will be a state authority will mention the advertise how long. Uh, also mention about free holy soul. Some details are mm -hmm. how many units. Mm. I see. I see some of the guests coming here, like uh Wong. Hello. Hi, hi Wong. And CK, happy. yeah, so it's called CK. Hi, happy. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Okay. Yep. So for for hi, those CK. guests, uh, so those guests are because already uh about 15 minutes before we really share uh how does the HOC look like. Maybe you can uh, take a review after that, or maybe you share to your friends or take your friends here also can. Okay. Come Kevin. Okay. All right. So um is there any uh question? Any questions from the audience? The end, or... Yeah, this will be the end of my sharing for today. <laughs> Happy ones. Oh, happy come here for English. Can <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Can can can. Yeah. So this is actually I hope it is um informative, um simple, informative, uh, direct to the point, uh, information right. gathered for those who are interested in purchasing any pro any project under the HOC program. At least yeah. you know how it works. I think yes. one more one more things that uh buyer need to take note as well. If uh if you go into the showroom or you meet an agent, you ask them whether this project got HOC or not. So you better mm. better double triple check with them. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Some project might have, some project might not have. So you need to check double check first. Yeah. More majority maybe, got la. Yeah. Uh, maybe or you can go for a radar radar to check. Yeah, we go to the radar website. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, if let's say any one of you are interested to know more of the information I've just shared, you can actually just scan our WhatsApp and then uh, be in contact with us. I'll be uh, more than glad to actually share my slides and perhaps some uh, more detailed information that if you are whatever you're looking for or anything yep. that you are in doubt that you need to clarify, you can contact any one of us. Yeah, if you are planning to get another home just to get the benefit from HOC and don't know what project you want to uh, buy, uh, aim for, then you can look for three of us. Uh, this yes. is our WhatsApp contact. Then we can guide you through some of the yeah. uh, interesting, nice projects. Yeah. All right. So, thank you, Kevin, for sharing. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kevin. All right. So, so... You got any questions? No question. Okay, yeah. yeah so thank you, CK, CK, for sharing yes, the link to, to do us. Yeah, for those who want to know, you can go for this website. Okay, so to summarize today, today is actually we talk about the HOC, so how the HOC help you. And uh, if let's say uh, for the audience, you have any uh, uh, question about the properties for investment or own say, you need help, 
you can PM us, one of us, and then we can help you. We can share the topic next round. So stay with us every Wednesday. Uh, time will be about nine or ten. Okay, we show in. If, uh, don't forget to follow our page also. Okay, so our show today is to be end. Okay, see you all. Okay. All right. Okay. See you. Thank you so Thanks much. For Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks yeah, for our late, late night show. Yes. <laughs> late night show. Bye.